to our friend uh, Coach Brian Kelly, 42-10 to 10 win over South Alabama, a bye week, and then it gets real with Ole Miss uh, coming to town as well as a number of other games. Coach, uh, you've seen some great competition so far this year. When you play a team like South Alabama, which has been uh, quite impressive at times over these past couple of years, what do, you, what do you learn after a game like this? Well, they challenge you in terms of uh, their scheme. I think Major Applewhite's done a really good job of of taking uh, this program, which is a new program, and and elevating it uh, both from an offensive standpoint and and certainly uh, from a personnel standpoint. And and look, you know, for us, the opponent was ourselves, right? We needed to continue to grow uh, as a football team from the opening week and. Another challenge for us to put together a complete game. And I, and I thought that this was probably, you know, regardless of who the opponent was, uh, much more of a complete game for us from start to finish. And we opened fast. We started with a, um, a play that uh, resulted in, in a touchdown right out of the gates. And I think we created the kind of um, clean play, if you will, uh, for four quarters that we were looking for. Coach, oftentimes we see we see uh, clips from a game, highlights, and that's what everybody obsesses over. And the, and the one from your game was between you and your quarterback, uh, Garrett Nussmeyer, who who later said uh, he was appreciative. Reminding him about the things that we talk about every single day. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I come across, a, you know, on a, a blip of four or five seconds of um, – you know, uh, hollering at somebody, but you you don't see the hours and hours and hours where I've got my arm around them and um, we're talking about them, you know, in terms of the great things that he does. And that's just TV and, you know, you take it for what it's worth. But no, we've got a great relationship and, you know, he's being reminded there of, of the things that he should do and how, how we should do it. And um, he recognizes that. And, he, uh, he still had an incredible game, you know, 400 yards. Uh, I think there's only, I think the graphic there in front of us, two touchdowns rushing. Um, and, uh, you know, there's only a few that have done that in the history of LSU. So, again, uh, a brief, you know, three or four second clip there, um, you know, doesn't, doesn't give you the story of uh, the kind of play that uh, Garrett's had here this season. And he said that he was thankful for it, which, which, Prompts me to ask you this question because a lot of us, we watch coaches like you and, and we see those moments. But in that moment, uh, how important is it to, to make the point right away uh, to, the, to, to your young players so they don't uh, or, or that, so they can learn from it? Well, it's important. I think the first thing, Paul, is you got to have a really good relationship with those guys or you can't make the point that way uh, because they'll take it the wrong way. Uh, they'll collapse, um, uh, you know, in those kinds of situations. So there are some guys that I can't talk to that way. I can't get at them. And with Garrett, you know, you can really get after him because that's the way uh, he'll remember it. And and so each guy's different. You know, you can't coach all the guys the same way. And, you know, Garrett is uh, is a guy with thick skin, uh, and, and you really can coach him uh, in the look. You, you can't coach him that way the whole the whole game, right? you you got to be able to pat him on the back, and you've got to be able to put your arm around him and, and, and talk to him about the great plays. And, and 90, 95% of them are, are about coaching him, you know, with an arm around him and, and patting him on the back and giving him great confidence. But there's going to be those – occasions you know like you saw uh in those couple of seconds that you know you're going to remind them listen we've gone over this before you can't you can't do those kinds of things and uh he'll remember them and he'll be better because of it yeah, speaking of that when we talked to you last week uh your former quarterback uh, was about to play on monday night and since then he's won two games uh, i i i don't want to digress but i would like just to get some thoughts from uh your view of of what jaden has been doing so far Remarkable. I mean, look, I mean, to go into the NFL and, and uh, to play uh, at the level that he's playing requires, you know, first of all, the preparation. Uh, it, it requires a, a confidence uh, and, and a system that, that really fits him. And I think all three of those things are coming together. Um, you know, when Jaden was here, you know, there were a couple of moments uh, that we just saw with, with Garrett that I had with, with Jaden. Uh, there were not a lot of them, uh, but there were uh, some times where he needed to be firmly reminded about the things that he needed to do correctly. And um, again, I think, you know, when, when we talk about 
the development of a quarterback, it's it's making sure that you have a great relationship with them. So when you do need to lean on them, uh, it resonates. And Jaden now is in a situation where all those things are coming together. Great preparation. Um, he now has the mindset that he can go in and the confidence within a system. Uh, Cliff Kingsbury is doing an incredible job of putting him in a position that to succeed. And uh, the rest now is uh, you've got a young man that is very, very confident in what he's doing. Coach, uh, I think uh, last year at this point, I asked you about uh, the bye week. I, b- I believe you were going to see your son. Uh, bye weeks come at different That's times right. for different people. What about this week? Well, this week we're going to we're treat it a little bit different because we have two, Paul. We're going to continue to practice, uh, continue to develop our team. Uh, this is a young team. You know, we had six freshmen on the defensive side of the ball. As you saw, Caden Durham had a great a game for us. He's a true freshman. We've got a couple of freshmen on the offensive side of the ball that need to continue to develop. So, you know, we'll practice this week and then we've got a big recruiting weekend. Um, so a lot of visits coming this weekend. So a combination of keep developing our football team. And then the second bye week we'll use as much more of a recovery week, because as you know, after this week, we go seven uh, SEC games in a row. And uh, that's when you'll need some of the recovery. And as you think during this bye week, I know you're, you're still trying to uh, work with your team. Uh, it's a critical moment in time, but uh, internally with you and your staff, wh- where, where, do you, where, are, where are you? Do you start looking ahead a little bit? I mean, you have to look ahead, but uh, what kind of work do you get done during a week like this? Yeah, that's a great question. I think now we're at that level of making sure we have the right personnel in place. I think we've seen enough now, you know, going into uh, week six where uh, we're clear on who we want on the field. Now it's working on some of the the deeper level things, you know, um, you know, some of the technical areas that we want to get better at in terms of, you know, some of our run game, uh, some of the technical areas that we want to be better at in terms of pass rush lanes. Um, how we want to click off uh, working inside out on, you know, some of the uh, mesh routes and things like that. So a lot more technical work this week that we'll spend on uh, that, that will allow us to get better as we get into SEC play. Coach, thanks for your time as always. Enjoy the off week and we'll see you next week. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate it.